Ganondorf. What, Ganondorf against Rob? I feel like this is terrible for Ganon to be it, honest it, with you. It, it, it is. I feel like it just is. It, it is. It's, it's always been bad. Rob against other heavies has always been pretty damn good for Rob. Like, oh, absolutely. I feel like in terms of heavies, like he just controls neutral so much better. He has a much better recovery. Like Heavies going off stage against Rob is really scary for other heavies because they don't have as good as recovery. His recovery's got the distance, obviously. He doesn't have a hitbox, but still is really good by comparison to other heavies. So it's <laughs> yes. He goes, yo, take this back. I don't want it. He tried. He had the receipt. He gave it back. Uh, yo, I, yo there, there's a hair in my gyro. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to speak to the manager, please. That's what. Uh, uh, hi, my name's Rob. I'm the manager. What's your problem? Return to sender uh, and return to the blast zone with the down air, which goes through the stage, oh reminiscent God. of Captain Falcon. And on a linear recovery like Ganondorf, you know, it's kind of free. It, it's, it's a pretty easy edge guard to land on Ganondorf. For sure. Yeah, yeah man. That's going to be a, a big difference in the set, is uh, like the difference in the recovery. Here we go. Back throw. Uh, okay, interesting. Parry, hold on. Let's see what we can get. Look at Yeah. Spock's just going to chill on stage. Try to catch him on the re-grab, maybe. Good tricky recovery, though. He's still going to grab for it. I liked it, though. Like, felt like he was going to get hit a couple other times. So he just kind of avoided it. Nair, other way. Rob has plenty of maneuvers for his uh, tricky recovery, as it, is, uh, as it has been buffed. He now can double jump after he uses his uppy initially, which he used to not be able to do. That and directional air dodging helps him out a lot. It helps yeah. him out for baits. It helps him fly up high and then air dodge back to regain the ledge. But the down being the neutral, he's going to be able to take it. Wizard's foot. Actually pretty good. It's a quick option, you know, and Ganondorf with his crazy smash attacks can actually set him into some crazy, uh, crazy situations, as well as still ledge cancel. That was a really unfortunate, you know, top hit for Smock. Uh-oh, down air, though? Back and air, and even that's percent. a tie game. And it's a tie game. That's Ganon, baby. Three hits, and he's in there. da 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 da, -da. And down throw. Up tilt? No, he goes for the up tilt right there because up air percent. It was not there just yet. He's still trying to do it. And then another down throw. Now he should be in up air? No, still no. Going for the up tilt for the third time in a row. He's way too low for a down uh, for an up smash or down smash confirmation right there. Ganon and, your uh, down throw seems like such a pain in the butt for him because, uh, oh god, because Rob, like, if you don't have good defensive get off me options while you're in the air, Rob can kind of have a field day with you. He doesn't need to react to the first thing you can do. He's going to just put you in a bad spot and keep you in there. Snipe? Yeah, snipe. Yeah, there you go. Snipe! Snap, 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 snap. Ooh, goes for the hard read, forward smashing towards the left, but it's going to be a hard punish on the part of GWJ. Look at this is what I'm talking about. Like, usually you save the down throw until they're like at kill percentage. Oh, oh, no tech! What? Very surprised. I don't think the knockback was too high on that one, Hazmat. No, no, I think no, he could have done it. Definitely not, yeah. yeah. I, I would, I'd be very surprised. Rob Main's also, though, notorious for not hitting techs, at least in Smash 4. Looks like uh, that stereotype is not stopping anytime soon. <laughs> Look at Nair, dude, that's so scary. It covers so much area right in front of Ganon, but here we go. Forward air. Such a good defensive tool from Rob. Very quick. A lot of reach on it. Okay. Oh, oh. Hold on. Oh, boy, what are you doing? He has a stock, so I, I assume he's not that afraid. And relative good percentage on Ganondorf for him to be able to tack on some more on another stock right now. But that's a re-grab. Trying to go for the up smash, but stalling in the air is the uh, GWJ to be able to force his way back. Forward air two. Let's see what the ledge setup is. Oh, God. He went a low recovery, but then he popped him through the stage. It was super smart because he put himself, uh, Spock put himself in a really bad position, allowing uh, GWJ to shut up, uh, set up at the ledge right there. But here we go. Good shield work. Forward tilt. Should be it. And, you know, GWJ is just, he's playing the... Uh, He's just playing the matchup really, really well. He's not letting Ganondorf get too much started, only letting him get these needle hits when he uh, when he messes up on the rare occasion. But right now he's just putting the gyro out, spacing with those forward airs, you know, keeping Ganon out, edge guarding him really well when he's off because down air is really good to catch that linear recovery. But all it takes with Ganondorf, uh, Ganondorf is just a couple more hits as the rage slowly but surely tacks on Hazmat. So you that's, never know. That's the thing. Like a forward smash right now, if he, he tacks on like 20 more percent, forward smash might do it. Yeah. That was Ganon's. I feel like it was Ganon's top. So uh-oh. And down there. that's the game. Up there? Oh, up though, just to... Oh wow, actually not gonna kill. I was about to say, because that he he wasn't oh. using that this game at all, so that wasn't stale yeah, in any way. Yeah. Ganon's heavy as hell, dude. Hold I was about on. to say, down down throw should have confirmed into an up smash right there. I mean now it definitely will if he's able to get another grab. Oh but my god! Forward smash. That's what I'm talking about. Nair, hold on. Rob's still in disadvantage. This is the worst situation for GWJ. Let's see. Oh my god, Smock. On the hunt right here. Is that gonna there do it? Is. Seriously? Seriously? Wow. Are you kidding me? Talk about feeling like you didn't get outplayed at all. Like how many how many exchanges of neutral did Rob win versus Ganon? That is crazy. Opportunist right there, very well done by Smock. Oh my god. Wow. That was amazing. I don't even know what else to say about that, man. It's just what Ganon does. That's what he does best, man. It's just a couple of hits that's all the big man takes. And especially with the changes to um the jump squat and landing lag in this game. Ganondorf's former biggest pains as a character. He was just gonna make it better for him. Let's take a look at the spacing once again. Has 77. Max. Yes, he was. Max Rage, Smashville, we'll be seeing you. Like that's it. That's it, dude. Boom, and the freeze for I love house streams, man. Love and it. I do believe that Robert the Robot is still a top ten heaviest characters in this game. Roberto? Oh yeah, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, Roberto. He's up there, dude. But that was the thing, like, Ganon, he's such an opportunist. Like, he just waits, 
He, you know what really, really saved uh, Smock there too was his last recovery where he poked over the edge with the up B. Like he just hit Rob away. That was a free setup for GWJ. So that recovery, super nice. Uh, and allowed him to win game one. Uh, dude, what a scary thing to be down against a Ganon 0 1, even in a matchup that you're a sick player, GWJ, and you're amazing with this character, Rob. It might be a favorable matchup for you, but sometimes matchups don't matter, dude. If he gets the right read on you, especially with Ganon, the end. I think all of a sudden now we're going to be seeing GWJ play with a lot of discipline. He does not want to fall to losers to this Ganondorf right now. Here in winner's semis of Pool Wave, C2 is not a position you want to be in. It's not something you want to have happen to you, you know. But if any character can do it, it is Rob. Like you said, the matchup does not always matter. But if he's able to keep composed and play even uh, more patient than he was before, you know, mayhaps he'll be able to take this right now. But it's only a matter of time. A lot of Nair, too. Maybe GWJ thought about it, wants to throw more of those out. Definitely looks like it. Like, All right, so the thing about Nair is like you got to parry it, basically. In the old game, in Smash 4, you had a perfect shield to work around it, but it's very obvious when it's coming out. I don't know. That one's pretty quick, actually. Like, There's a lot of startup. Sorry, so you can definitely react to it. <laughs> Occupational hazard. You know what I'm saying? Either way, either way. My it's fault, fine, my it's fault. fine, it's fine, it's fine. Hold on. Oh, he went for the down air? I love it. Hold that would have been a great read right there. Would have been a lot of damage and put Rob above Ganondorf, another position you do not want to be in. There's the gyro. Using the up air. It's not gonna, mm, it wasn't it was, worth it though. You know what though? Like, that is an amazing play by GWJ because Smock's options are up air or hit the gyro away somehow. Oh god. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're no, good, no. you're good. He timed it right with the invincibility. Good stuff to GWJ. But you're right, it was an amazing play by him right there because, like you said, his only option besides just getting hit by the gyro was to up air the gyro away and then all of a sudden, I'm Ganondorf. I have yeah. to up be my way back. Oh wait, this character has a downer who goes through the stage just like Falcon. So he really just put Ganondorf between a rock and a town and city place. There we go. Good use of the platform there, trying to escape. We go forward air too. I really hope no one laughed at that because that was definitely the worst <laughs> joke I've told all night. Anyway, it was like a you know, it's like a solid like four out of ten. There's an up tilt anti air right there. No, it was. No, please be honest with me, please. It was it was trash. I'm just messing. I'm messing. No, dude. no, it was honest. It was trash. Hold Whatever. On, hold on. Down air. That's a re grab for him now, but it's not going to matter since uh, Rob is below him right there, just waiting. Choke slam, and a good roll, uh, read on the roll in right there. Plenty of people, uh, plenty of people actually like to do get up attack there. Uh, not get up attack. Uh, not just get oh up attack, god. but also. Whoa, oh my whoa. god! Did you see that? The item tech? Seriously? Yeah. That's the thing. Like, if you play Ganon, you're not gonna get many opportunities to get in on a very competent player, especially a Rob. Oh god! Nice job. Good there you capitalization. Go. That's the first time he got it before. I don't know why more Robs haven't been doing that. I've seen other Robs on stream who weren't going for that at even higher percents. That's a kill confirm. Yes. That works. I mean. At 140, like 130 is when it's supposed to be like, unless you have like god, like god, like god, like mashing, which you know, like task levels of mashing, which you don't because you're not a computer, you won't be able to get out of that. And that was the first time GWJ actually did it. And I think he did it that time because I don't think, um, I don't think Smock was exactly expecting it that time because that was the first time he did it. So, uh, you anyway. know, Smock showed the downer, he showed like a threatening, like an aggressive approach off stage. I like it. GWJ taking his time. Like I said, like that, that recovery on a heavy is very nice because Ganon really is to go off stage against you, but the Nair. Nice, Smock. This is looking a lot like game one in Tunis, dude. He's coming back. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, you, you want me to sit here and tell you to like not count like Smock out or not count Ganondorf out after what you guys just saw? Come on. And here it starts. Oh, my God. Trying to go for the hardest of reads. That, uh, that forward smash would have almost killed, actually. I'm not sure if it would have because Rob is actually really heavy, but I mean, the, the, the knockback growth on that move is it's almost second to none, Hazmat. So. That's right. Dude, nice, nice little poke over the ledge again, saving himself, looking for the, oh no, this is a really bad situation. Really low ledge hang though for Ganon, still very good stuff, good recognition by Smock. It's funny too, because we haven't really seen him hang on the ledge while there's a cop in play, but here we go, Smock in the driver's seat, got the top, what's he gonna get? Oh my god, man. This is where when you're GWJ, you have to stay composed so you can win game two. He's there you go, oh, whoa! Okay, 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 oh, he's alive. I looked he's away still, for a second, I thought on. he was dead! He's still alive, dude. This now like you should be dead, because that's too far Stop. away. And yeah. the air dodge, <laughs> and there you go, getting hit directly in the crotch with that gyro. And I'm only saying that because it was. If you actually look at the free frame, that's where it was. We'll probably see a replay of it in a second. I'll call him BDB for no reason, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Here we go. And... Yeah. A forward air, rise back, good job putting himself back on stage so we can get the forward air. And you can't see it because it's right behind the little webcam there, but that's where it was, trust me. I believe you. Yeah. And uh, it's good stuff to GWJ for staying composed. Many a lower many a lower player, many a lower level player, when they lose to a Ganon, they get tilted, tilted, man. Because that uh, character hits hard like a truck, he comes at you slow, but the hits come at you fast. It's a scary thing to be against, but GWJ, breathing, relaxing, taking a deep breath, knowing my character wins this matchup. Yep. I should be able to do this if I just play the matchup correctly, which I know how to do in my head, and just stay composed. I should be able to do this. Yoshi's Island and Smashville are both gone. Now, where is this man going? 
Are you going, Schmuck? He's taking his time. He's really thinking about it, which is smart. Like, it, I feel like more players should do this. And you know what's kind of something I saw fall out of favor with the new game coming out is people don't really chill on the Angel platform anymore. Like, it doesn't really happen. Like, people kind of just rush down, want to get back into the action. I feel like that's a combo of the game being, like, a faster pace. But also, like, people kind of, like, just being eager to play. So I feel like people got to take their time a little bit more. I like seeing this from Schmuck. He's crazy, man. Did I get you again? No. Okay, my bad. I got the screen, though. Nice. Did you see that earlier? We're, all, I, we're like Reptile from Mortal Kombat, bro. Anyway. <laughs> that was the second time I talked about Mortal Kombat on stream today. I was, well, ca I was casting with Ajax, so, you know. Oh, of course. We of both course. love Mortal Kombat. Me so, too, you know. bro. I'm in oh, that, I love it. Can't wait for chat. the Summit of Time. It's going to be amazing. Is that what it's called? The Summit of Time, yes. That's what it's called. That's dope. Can't wait to see it. But right now, what we're seeing is more ultimate action. Same matchup. Rob on GWJ. Ganondorf on Smok. Kalos is the pick. And we are rolling it out, ladies and gentlemen. Kalos, a lot of space, actually, you know. I, this is an interesting pick for uh, Smok, because I feel like Rob has a lot of space to kind of, you know, not approach. Oh, yeah. And, uh, not, and just oh, play the game that he, he has. He does have an air dodge. He's fine. He can fly. Dude, but I, I like, look, Smok recognized you. He's like, you have an air dodge? I'm Ganon. I'm coming down there after you, bro. Let's go. I don't care. I don't care if you have a jetpack or whatever. I'm Ganon, baby. Yeah. If, you're, if you're Ganon, you got to try to make plays like that. If you're not trying to make plays like that, you're playing passive and stuff, why are you playing Ganon? It doesn't yeah. make any sense. Yeah, honestly, are you really a Ganon main at that point? For real. If you don't go for a down air right there on stream, you're a you're coward. Oh, my God. I he like it. I like the call out. You knew he was going to spot dodge there. Unfortunately, he just messed up the timing just a little bit. He's not going to be able to get the kill for it. Carries the laser for no reason, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this super active dash attack, too. Good grab. I feel like, yo, know, Smok's grabs have been super good throughout this whole set. But here we go. Ledge, Nair. Enough. Very good job by Smok. Cleaning that up. Very clutch. Lead means so much in this matchup because now Rob's got to commit to get a kill right here. 34%. If you start running into Ganon, he hurts so hard. You can already see it. 61. Where the hell did this damage come from? Just going for the read right there. A down air absolutely would have killed. He doesn't space it right, though. And a good trap coming out from GWJ right there. Throwing the gyro down. El Smash is actually going to do it. Yeah, no lightning. No lightning needed. Yeah, no, I like that actually. Like, I feel like Smok was just trying to avoid it, and if he got hit by that and didn't die, I think that was a really good play. But either way, good stuff from GWJ. Taking him down. That dash attack is actually it net him a lot of percentage in this game. Uh, three grab. Yep, that was on save. A little too close to the shield there. <laughs> he That's just hopped over it. That's it. Back Jump over again. Over. Plenty of options, you know, like reverse up air, down air. What is Ganon going to do? Stuck on the platform. The up smash will go through it, but GWJ recognizing that and just staying back. I mean, if you're not respecting Ganon, you're losing games real fast. You he, know got, he got stuck right there, man. If he rolled back there and uh, Smok read that, he could have just jumped up with a forward air and killed him. Right. Big That's another thing. So he was just stuck. Oh, and there from center state from downtown Hazmat. My goodness, 69.6%. Smok <gasps> looking very poised to potentially be able to take this. Air dodging down through out of the up tilt again. Should be another one. No, he's not able to do it the second time, and he'll eat an up tilt up air for his pleasure. I feel like the thing is, like, if you just air dodge out like Smock is, it's kind of a guaranteed follower for GWJ. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel yeah. like that's been a layup every single time. Yo, I think Smock has been really nice with this item, too, though. The top. Here we go. Oh, okay, that was a bait. He tried to get him to come in on top of the top. He thought he was going to grab it and try to challenge him. Instead, he went for a forward smash. This guy is crazy. This guy's Smock is nuts, dude. Hey, man, that's what Ganondorf has to do. He's got to be yes. setting up these crazy situations. He's finding any way to trap this giant character, Rob, in between these really hard and heavy hitboxes. Oh, like my this God. One, and just barely getting through with the invincibility right there. And GWJ is still down an entire stock. He needs to take the stock now, Hazman, if so, he wants to be able to win this. Here's the thing. If he takes... Hold on. Let's not talk about that, because this is looking really, really scary for GWJ. Trying to fight his way up the ledge. Here we go. Back in the same old spot. Smock respecting it. Nice. Just getting in there. That's it, baby. That's a two-stock victory to close it out. Very well done. I'm telling you, that's an uphill matchup. Smock playing exceptionally well. That game one. Let's not forget about that game one, man. Can we get a replay uh, on the game one closeout? Because that was the last stock that Smock played was absolutely amazing. But there we go, the Nair. I like it. He didn't go off stage, too. Like, he had the stock lead. He's like, I'm not going to get too greedy, though. Stay right here. Edge guard you. Very active Nair. You're a tall robot, and I'm going to kick you right in the face, kick you out of the set, take the W down, and that's it. And into the loser's